Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create SVG files using Umbrilliance Essentials. And in today's sample, I'm going to show you how to uh, do that for applique pieces for the In the Hoop Snowman placemat from Designs by Juju. So right now I'm just going to download the files. So download PS. Double click this folder and I'm just going to choose a random one. I'll choose this one. And it pulled up into Umbrilliance. Okay, so as you can see for this one, there's a lot of different applique pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this little arrow icon. If you don't have this arrow, then it's probably locked and you would just hit the unlock button over here. So I'll just hit this button. And usually the first few steps are the tack down and basting stitches for the background, uh, the different backgrounds and things like that. Um, so I'm just going to find a good applique one. Okay, so this looks like a good one. Um, so this is the applique for the tree. Um, let me just make sure. Yeah. So this is the applique position for the tree. So what you're going to do if you want it to become an SVG file, you're going to hit the color icon down here, click that. It'll automatically come up as color, so what you want to do is hit applique, hit applique position, and it'll automatically say inflate is going to be 1.5 millimeters. Um, however, you want to go up one just to be sure that, because um, when it's 1.5, it's the exact uh, measurements for the basting stitch so you want to go up one just to make sure that you catch the fabric when you do the um, the satin stitches so go up one to 1 1.6 millimeters hit save as I always choose to save it to my desktop and it'll automatically save it as an SVG file and you just hit save and then you hit okay here okay there get out of all of this stuff. Where is it? And here it is all the way at the bottom is the applique for the tree. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see the second part where I bring the SVG file to my Cricut. Um, and I'll, I would show you all the different settings for that um, and how I do that successfully. And also don't forget to subscribe where I will do more tutorials, not only for embroidery, but knitting and other different crafts as well. Um, and I also own multiple small businesses, so I do a lot of work with me's. So if this sounds like something that's right up your alley, again, please don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below on what you would like to see from my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day.